Before you cross the big blue McKees Rocks Bridge, everything seems nice and exciting. But after you cross the bridge and go through a tunnel, you are in McKees Rocks. McKees Rocks is an old steel mill town that seems as if the sun never shines anywhere, except for Mancini's Bakery, which is located on 601 Wood Street. This is where the sun shines in full power, because once you walk through the glass doors holding the goodness inside, your nose gets overfilled with amazing smells of bread. I've been coming here for over 40 years. Over 20 years. Uh, 25 years. Uh, about 15 years. 20 years. I like to order the, the twist with the cornmeal on the bottom, the old-fashioned twist. So the twist and also the cream curd walnut bread. I like to twist. We always come and get the twist unless we're having our pepperoni rolls for dinner, which we're hoping to have tonight. That's what I'm here for, pick up some pepperoni rolls. Usually you always get the twist. Twist. Mancini's Bakery opened in 1926, and it was not anything else before then. When it first opened, it was just the front room you see. Later on, they added all the back rooms in. In 1977, Mary Mancini Hartner took over the business. She's still the owner to this day. When I was a little kid, I'd come down here with my mom and dad, and we'd come down, and there'd be a line out the door, and all the bakers would be sitting out front taking their breaks, and you'd look over, and they'd be so cool. They'd be like rock stars, and everybody in the neighborhood would know who they were and thank the thing. But, yeah, it's been a long tradition since I was a kid. My parents were kids that, you know, coming down here Sunday for bread was just a tradition. Hi. The original brick I went to the bakery is right there. It's no longer in use. The uh, bath was in it, but bad, and it just consumed way too much energy. We have this oven here, which is a hearth oven. It's a, it's a Poland four deck hearth oven. It actually can bake more bread, and it bakes it the same way that the, the old brick oven used. This is a spiral mixer. This is a barrel mixer. He's going to dump some dough out of the barrel mixer for you. Step around and watch it come out. Watch it come out. We'll do up to 300 pounds at a time. How many have you done? Well, 1975, I started this. Did you get that? Did you get No. Watch closer. This is going to be a test on this, Ray. Go slow. Explain what you do on this one so he can Yeah, try. you have to roll it out to get a rope out of it so it's long enough to twist it. And then you twist it. Okay. How many of these twists do you make a day? Oh, very. Every day, you make about 12 to 14,000. Each one of those bins holds 50,000 pounds of flour. Okay. We process between 45 and 50,000 pounds of flour a week through the bakery. This is where all the hoses stay. Okay? Which one look at is one of the pieces What this is, this is a divider. That's a rounder. This is an overhead proofer. It drops it down into this machine. This is a cheater molder. And what that does is that rolls out your hoagie sticks. Two different types of ovens at the bakery. We have rack ovens, we have salmon rows, and we have the Mancini's is unique from other bakeries because most of it is still homemade, made by hand. Stuff during the day. When the trucks come in at night, they'll pull into this area and we'll wheel out a cart. How many trucks? We have 13 routes. Um, some of the routes are combined, so the guy might come back twice. The trucks are they're all independent contractors, so we don't have our own trucks. We have, we have one, one of our own trucks, and all the rest of the trucks, they're owned independently. Made in the last 10 to 12 hours. Far south is Wheeling. Far north is Sharon. Far east in Greenberg, and uh, far west as Oh uh, yeah, it is, originally it was just one building, and they connected another building to it, and then we 
added that building.